Welcome fellow believers in our Savior Jesus Christ. 2020, crazy year for sure. Most of us honestly have to say that we have never seen anything like it, and most likely never will again. Years like this put a lot of stress on people, on families, and on the church. So this week I want to address the battle that we're facing. I want to look at God and Satan's fight for our souls and look at what we can do to fight off Satan and his minions. I'm going to use a very familiar piece of scripture today, or this weekend, I mean. My sermon is titled, We Need the Full Armor of God. And yep, you guessed it. I'll be using Ephesians 6, verses 10 through 18. For the devotional today, though, I'm going to look at verse 11. And verse 11 says, Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Our life experiences confirm the suggestion of this passage that life is basically a struggle. Life never conforms to the rosy idealism of our dreams or to the romanticism of the songs that we like to sing. The explanation of this struggle lies deeper than what we ordinarily would think. The common view of our struggle has been that we are engaged in a conflict against flesh and blood, against other men and other women. But Paul says the battle is not against flesh and blood. It's deeper than that. The basic problem is is that this is the battle between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Satan and people, us. We're the battlefield. The battle is visible not only in wars, revolutions, crime waves that fill our newspapers. It's also seen in the inner tensions and the fears of individual people's lives. In the mental illnesses that afflict so many people today and in family fights and in church struggles. It's even visible in nature, where all of life competes in a ruthless, deadly struggle to survive. The whole race has fallen under the control of satanic forces, which Paul calls the world rulers of this present darkness. The picture of the Bible from beginning to end is that all human beings without Christ, right? All human beings without Christ, without exception, regardless of how clever or educated or cultured they may be, are helpless victims of satanic control. Under the control of satanic forces, human beings are uncomfortable, unhappy, but also completely unable to escape by any wisdom or power of their own. But the good news, the good news is that some have been set free through the coming of the stronger one, Jesus Christ himself, who came, as John tells us, to destroy the devil's work. Through him, deliverance is obtained. Through the amazing mystery of the cross and the resurrection, Jesus has broken the power and bondage of Satan over human lives. Those who individually receive and acknowledge this are set free to live in the freedom and the liberty of being a child of God. They are not set free to live up to themselves. They are set free in order to battle. That is the call that comes to all Christians. We are not set free in order to enjoy ourselves. We are set free to do battle, to engage in the fight, to overcome things in our own lives, and to become the channel by which other people can be set free. How do you do this? Paul's answer is in one simple phrase. Put on the whole armor of God. Full provision has been made that you can win this battle. This is the amazing thing that everybody must learn. God has made full provision for us to fight these forces that hold the world in their grip. My friends, let's pray. Father, tear away the false veils by which I have allowed myself to be rendered powerless in this great battle. Help me to understand that I would have no possibility of fighting were it not for the saving work of Jesus Christ. 
who has come to bind the power of darkness. And of course, we pray this in our Savior, Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I want to thank you all for joining me for another devotional. And may you all be abundantly blessed by our Lord the rest of this week. Amen.